the Eurofighter Typhoon was designed to dominate the skies. The Rafale, a multi-role beast that can land on carriers and strike deep behind enemy lines. And the Saab Gripen, the underdog that fights like a wolf pack. But if all three went head to head, who would win? Now, if you think this is just another specs versus specs comparison, think again. We're diving into what really makes these jets dangerous. Their combat tactics, hidden strengths, and the brutal truth behind their biggest weaknesses. And by the end of this, you'll have a clear winner. But before we get there, here's something to think about. One of these jets has a shocking Achilles heel that could get it destroyed in a real dogfight. Can you guess which one? Welcome back to the war. At first glance, the Typhoon, the Rafale and the Gripen seem similar. All three have Delta Wing, Canards, but their real differences start with their design philosophies. The Eurofighter was designed during the Cold War for one mission, air superiority. That means speed, agility and brute force dominance in dogfights. It's a raw power machine. The Rafale, on the other hand, was built for everything. It's a true multi-role jet. One day it's taking out enemy fighters, the next it's dropping precision bombs and the day after it's launching from an aircraft carrier. And the Saab Gripen? Sweden designed it for survival. It can take off from highways, be serviced by a handful of mechanics and fight in a swarm like a pack of wolves. But which approach is actually better in real war? Here's where things get interesting. Before we answer that though, let's talk about the one advantage that could make or break a dogfight. Situational awareness. In modern air combat, the pilot who sees first kills first, and this is where radar and sensor fusion comes into play. The Eurofighter Typhoon was originally built without an AESA radar, a critical disadvantage. It now has the Captor E AESA, but it came years after its competitors. The Rafale, however, was ahead of the curve. Its Thales RBE-2 radar gives it a crucial edge in tracking and targeting. Combine that with its Spectra electronic warfare system and it can jam enemy radars or even full missiles. Then there's the Gripen E, a surprise contender. It uses the Raven ES-05 AESA radar combined with a revolutionary data sharing system that lets it see what other Gripens see. A single Gripen can use another's radar data, meaning an enemy never knows where the actual targeting is coming from. But here's a crazy fact. One of these jets can turn into a stealth fighter without actually being stealthy. Do you know which one? Let us know in the comments and we'll check it out soon. Before that, let's talk firepower, because no amount of sensors matter if you don't have the weapons to finish the job. All three fighters carry a terrifying arsenal. The Typhoon carries the Meteor, the Amram, the Azram and Storm Shadow cruise missiles. The Rafale 
carries a meteor, the mica, the scalp cruise missiles, and a nuclear capability. And the Gripen carries a meteor, the Iris T, the RBS 15 anti ship missiles, the big equalizer, the meteor missile. This beyond visual range missile gives all three jets the ability to take down targets over 100 miles away. But here is where it gets controversial. The Rafale has nuclear strike capability. That's something neither the Typhoon nor the Gripen can do. In a high stakes war, does that make the Rafale the ultimate deterrent? Now let's talk about something most people overlook, dogfighting. Which of these jets can actually outmaneuver the others in a knife fight? This is where things get brutal. The Typhoon is a beast. It flies over Mach 2. A super cruise. An insane thrust to weight ratio and ridiculous maneuverability. But the Rafale is no joke either. It has a higher angle of attack limit, allowing it to pull off moves that could outturn a Typhoon. But here's the shocker. The Gripen is the hardest to hit. Why you ask? It has the best instantaneous turn rate and the smallest radar cross section. That means a Gripen in a dogfight is like trying to punch smoke. Good luck locking onto it. But remember the Achilles heel we teased earlier? Well here it is. While the Typhoon and Rafale can fight at high altitudes and speeds, the Gripen struggles in high energy dogfights. It has a single engine, which means in prolonged engagements, it loses energy faster than the others. If a Typhoon or Rafale forces a Gripen into a sustained turning fight, it's game over. The Gripen bleeds speed too quickly to recover. So while the Gripen is a nightmare in short bursts, in a drawn out dogfight, it's at a major disadvantage. That's the Achilles heel. Did you guess it right? Let us know in the comments. But here's a game changer. One of these jets doesn't even need to fight close range. Let's talk about electronic warfare. The Rafale Spectra system is its ace in the hole. It can jam enemy radars spoof missiles and even make the Rafale seem like it's in a different location. In short, it can become nearly invisible without stealth coatings. The Typhoon's Praetorian system also provides a solid electronic warfare but not at the level of the Spectra. And the Gripen? It is one of the most advanced jamming systems designed to confuse and overwhelm enemy sensors. Now let's talk about a sensitive issue, cost, because the best jet is useless if the country can't afford it. The Typhoon is expensive to buy and maintain and built for elite air forces. The Rafale is also pricey but slightly cheaper more versatile in roles, and the Gripen, the budget fighter that punches way above its weight. This is why Sweden, Brazil and other nations are choosing the Gripen over more expensive jets. It's not just about performance, it's about how many you can afford to field. Now before we move on to the final verdict, if you enjoy our content and want to support the channel, check out our merch and membership programs. Now, the final verdict. If you want air superiority, the Typhoon is your best bet. If you want an all-in-one strike fighter, the Rafale is king. If you want the smartest, 
most cost effective jet, the Gripen, is unbeatable. But if you had to pick just one, the Rafale takes the crown. It has the sensors, the weapons, the electronic warfare, and the versatility. In a real war scenario, it would be the most dangerous opponent. But do you agree? Comment below. If you had to fly one of these into combat, which would you choose? Hi soldiers, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to check back in again soon. That's an order.